morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a pound of fresh remember to get your pound of fresh fruit and vegetables today and you'll be doing great you'll be doing great so today is an amazingly gorgeous morning in Limerick today um, I have a little injury from the weekend from not from the 10k in Fenora but from the uh, 9k on the beach um, some of the sand was between wet and dry so instead of it being hard or really soft it was kind of in between and it resulted in my tweaking uh, my toe on my right foot so I've got a little bit of tenderness there so I'm going to rest the foot continue to get on the bike and cycle to maintain the fitness um, the weather here today is absolutely glorious it's perfect for a cycle. Uh, I'm just in town by the river at the moment. I have a few things to do in town. Um, and then I will be getting on the bike and I will be going for a spin. Um, yeah, today's a good day. When the weather is like this, it's just beautiful. And um, Limerick looks absolutely gorgeous in the sun. So yeah, I just said I'd say hello and I will check in with you later on today so somebody sent me a message yesterday about the channel and asked me to put a disclaimer um, on the channel to talk about the fact that I'm not a qualified um, I'm not a qualified I don't know nutritionist I suppose or doctor or physician or I don't know um, I'll say it, astronaut, like, uh, okay, I'll deal with that question right now. So, um, I understand that I'm not a doctor, I understand that I'm not a physician, and I understand that I'm not a nutritionist, but um, an awful lot of doctors, they know very, very little about nutrition. Um, my opinions are formed with my own personal evidence, since I went uh, vegan, plant-based, I've lost weight in a gradual, progressive, and very gentle and easy way by eating a, an abundant amount of carbohydrates and also by moving the body and also drinking a lot of water and trying to alkalize the system. Um, I've also got some documentaries that I recommend for you to watch. Um, the first one is Forks Over Knives. Forks Over Knives is an amazing documentary and it's kind of centered around the China study. And the China study is the biggest undertaking, the biggest research ever carried out. Um, and the gist of the China study is that the Chinese people for a very, very long time um, when they were eating an awful lot of rice, an awful lot of vegetables and they were using meat just to flavor their dishes and they weren't eating an awful lot of it, they were using the meat as a flavor. Their incidence of cancer rates were very, very low. As soon as they adopted a Western diet, which is like where people say you need to get your protein from meat, as soon as that happened, their rates of cancer went through the roof because as I said before, and I'll say it again, cancer cannot survive in an alkaline environment. So eating an awful lot of meat, eggs, fish, and dairy products create an acidic environment in the body and therefore creates an environment that allows cancer to thrive. So I would recommend Forks Over Knives. Um, as a, as a documentary that's well worth watching. It's well, well worth watching. And um, there are many more, but I'll just recommend you that one for now. Um, also, there's a kind of a side, there's a side study um, brought into the film where during the war effort, um, some Scandinavian countries, they weren't able to eat an awful lot of um, meat, and therefore they had to go back to things like making bread and eating you know potatoes and really um, stodgy and 
delicious carbohydrates and the rates of mortality from cancer and heart disease dropped during the war effort, um, ironically. And then once the war was over and people could eat what they wanted, um, or what they, yeah, what they wanted, not what they needed, when people could eat what they wanted, then the rates of heart disease and cancer mortality went up again. So to qualify my qualifications, the only qualifications I have and the only qualifications I need, in my opinion, are, well, yeah, in my opinion, are, um, are results. And the results that I'm seeing and the results that I see in the vegan movement, by and large, is that people are fitter, fitter, healthier than people that eat dead animal flesh, the people that eat unborn chickens, unborn ducks, unborn quails, the people that eat mercury-laden and uh, overfished resources, and the people that eat bovine growth hormone, white blood cells, pus, excrement in the form of dairy products. So I thank you for the question. I thank all feedback and all comments. Don't be afraid to leave a comment in the comment section below. Start a debate. Start a debate. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I've got no problem in talking to anybody about um, about being a vegan or what that means to me or how I do it or how I manage to cope. But to put it in a nutshell for now, I would say that I would say that eating an abundance of carbohydrates, trying to eat as many fresh, raw fruits and vegetables as you can in the day, there is no limit. There is no limit. You can eat as many bananas as you want. You can eat as many apples as you want. You can eat as many oranges as you want. You will never get too much sugar from fruit or vegetables because when they are combined with the fiber and the nutrients that you need, the body is designed to eat them. Why would you restrict your energy intake? It does not make any sense. There's so many people I see going around and I can start to see them now. They are undercarbed, undercarbed, anxious, nervous. Carbs are the key. Carbs do not make you fat. Sugar does not make you fat. Fat makes you fat. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. I will give a disclaimer as well about this jacket. For those of you who are about to say, oh, but that's a leather jacket. It's not a leather jacket. It's fake leather. I just like it because it's shiny. My glasses are shiny too. They're made of plastic. So is this jacket. It's made of, I don't know, polyester or something. Um, yeah, so there you go. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, the subscription is just down there, I think. Just down there. Hit subscribe for more of these videos. And yeah, don't be afraid of the comment section. If you got something to say, leave a comment and I will get back to you. Unless I get a million subscribers in the next week, which isn't going to happen. This is a community channel as far as I'm concerned. Leave a comment. Okay, something else has just occurred to me. Go to a cupboard and pick up a packet of pasta. It can be whole wheat pasta, gluten-free pasta, as long as it's not fucking egg pasta, which is just really fucking weird. And flip it over, look at the nutritional content, and you'll find that pasta contains about 12%, 12% protein. Where do you get your fucking protein from? You get it from pasta if you fucking have to. Go vegan, man and woman and in between whatever you are go vegan also I've said all of this about how good it is for your health and how the body will assimilate all of the nutrition much easier from plant-based sources I would even suggest mono meals where you'll cook yourself up an entire plate of baked potatoes and just have that you can have a little sauce a little ketchup or whatever um, but your body will do really well and assimilate all of that really easily so that's all about the health 
all about how good it is for you as a person. But what about the animals, right? See, the way I see it is that we share this world. We share this world. We have a consciousness which is connected. So your consciousness is connected to my consciousness, which is connected to that guy driving that van's consciousness. But the consciousness extends much further than that. The consciousness extends into the trees that are around us. The consciousness extends into the animals that surround us. The fish in the sea, the birds in the air. I'll say it again, I bet you, you won't go to the source. I bet you won't go and pick up a, a bird in the park and bite its head off and just start plucking the feathers and just eating it in front of all of the people that are in the park that day. Why don't you do that? Because it's not fucking natural. No, you'll have to cook it. You'll have to, I don't know, buy it in a plastic packet from a shop. We're too removed from our food nowadays and too many people are too arrogant when it comes to eating food and they're too ignorant when it comes to eating food and there's no problem, all you have to do is open your eyes. It'd be very strange for somebody to bite the head off a bird, to rip the feathers off and eat it sitting on a bench next to you. But if it's wrapped up in a tortilla or if it's wrapped up in a, in a burger bun then it's apparently fine. It's that disconnection, the disconnection with the food. That's where the problem is, because too many people, too many people are too disconnected to what's going on around them. And that's fine. But you can do something about it. If you're watching this video, maybe you have an interest already. You can do it in your own time. But the time is running out for the planet, you know? Another film I'd suggest that you watch is Cowspiracy, how animal agriculture is by far, by far, the biggest contributor to global warming. By far. That's all trains, planes and automobiles, motorcycles, mopeds, you name it, tractors, cows and animal husbandry is more damaging to the planet than all of them put together. Go vegan boys and girls and be part of the change because it's coming. Go vegan. It's pretty, pretty simple. Oh, and ride your bike everywhere too. Okay, so how are you doing? I'm still in town right now and um, I just want to show you that if you live in Ireland, you can get a Veggie Delight um, Subway which needs to be put on either Italian bread or hearty Italian bread, both of those um, both of those breads are vegan, breads are vegan friendly and just get it absolutely jam packed up with um, with vegetables so I just go crazy, go nuts on the vegetable oil and um, yeah I get mine toasted, I get some hot chilli sauce and some mustard um, also got a, a, a fizzy kind of sugary orange which is great, it's just it's not the ideal carbohydrate but in a pinch it will do, I'm just a bit busy now in town and I'm just stopping to get some lunch. So yeah, if you're in Ireland, I uh, can personally recommend um, hearty Italian or Italian bread in Subway and the veggie, uh, veggie delight is what it's called. And you can get it toasted and you can have hot chili sauce, you can have ketchup or you can have mustard um, as a vegan. And it looks pretty appetizing, so there it is. That's the vegan option for lunch if you are in a rush like I am today and you're in a city, get yourself to a subway. It works in a pinch. Not ideal, but it will do. Mm. Crunchy, toasty, spicy, fresh vegetables. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, so the weather's come down really, really heavy with rain now. I've just been outside trying to record this, so I've come inside to do it. Um, yeah, I'll wrap it up here for today. Um, I'm looking forward to going to see a friend of mine play a concert today, Terence O'Shea. Uh, he's home from Canada with his cousin, Mark, both really good friends of mine, so I wish you a very safe journey back to Canada, boys. It was great to see you, and I can't wait to see your, uh, your concert tonight. If you're watching this, 
um, hello and I hope it goes well a few times I really do and I really think that it will um, yeah so I'll sign off here today um, I might give an update from the concert tonight or I might just enjoy myself um, I'll see if I don't update you later I'll catch you the next time and as always remember to get your pounder fresh and you'll be doing great you'll be doing great